and welcome to a new video. In today's video I'm going to show you what I bought while I was in London last weekend and I had the most amazing time and when you see this video I think I've already uploaded the vlog so if you haven't seen that go watch my last video and then you can see everything I did in London. The first things I want to show you are from Peggy Portion and on the last day that I was in London I went to Peggy Portion with Sophie and we had such a wonderful time there. And the first thing I got is this really beautiful snowflake cookie and I've always wanted to have one of the cookies from Peggy Portion but I never but I never took one with me but this one was just so beautiful that I couldn't leave it behind. And the, and the next thing and the other thing I got from Peggy Portion are those little cinnamon stars and they are pastel and they, are, and they are in pastel colors and they, they just look so beautiful and magical. When I went to Little Ray with Sophie and Tara, I also picked up something that I wanted to have for a really long time. And it's the light pink macaron box from Little Ray. And I just think that it looks so beautiful and I just can't wait to use it for decoration. And I also got another small fruit related item. I got two pink champagne truffles from Chabonnet et Walker. These are by far my favorite chocolates. And they are wrapped beautifully in a little pink box and tied with a pink ribbon. I also went to Zara while I was in London. And the first thing I picked up there is this sweater. And I think it looks so beautiful. It's beige, which is normally not a color I'm wearing, but I just think that this one is so beautiful. And it's sadly only available in beige, but I couldn't leave it behind. And it has these puffy sleeves and has little pearls on it. And it's, of course, from the children's section, because I pretty much only buy things from the children's section, because I think the things there are much cuter. <laughs> and the other thing I bought at Zara was this top. It's this light pink top but it has like a lilac-y undertone and it has and also has puffy sleeves I, and I think this is so pretty and I've always wanted to have something with like sleeves like that and I can't wait to wear it. I am now moving on to the things that I purchased in Notting Hill and the first store we went to was Cat Kitson and I of course picked up something from there and I picked up these really really cute socks. They look like this and have this really beautiful floral pattern and they just kind of reminded me of the Sleeping Beauty because of the flowers. I thought they would be perfect to remind me of my trip to London. And I also went to Oxfam. I don't know if everyone knows that store, but we also got it here in Germany. And it's like a store where people give items to that they don't need anymore and they sell them. And the money they make from these things is donated. And I found some really, really amazing items there. The first thing I got, I actually hoped that they had. And it's Paris When It Sizzles with, with Audrey Hepburn. And I've always, always wanted to watch that movie, but they don't have it in Germany and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I was really happy when I found it there. I think I'm going to watch it this weekend. And then I found a book which I also wanted to buy for a long time. And it's It by Alexa Chung. And it also makes a really beautiful coffee table book. And I just love coffee table books. <laughs> and the last thing I picked up there was this really, really beautiful Jane Austen notebook and it's just a plain notebook but it has a really beautiful illustration at the front and at the back and I just couldn't leave this one behind. Now I'm going to move on to the things that I purchased at the Royal Opera House gift shop and I was there before I saw the Sleeping Beauty together with Sophie. The first thing I picked up was this really beautiful keychain. It's a lilac colored point shoe and has two charms on it this little rose and a little crown and it's a special edition because of the Sleeping Beauty. It also says the Royal Ballet, the Sleeping Beauty at the back of the charm. And I also got two postcards and one of them has Margot Fontaine on it. And the next thing I got is this really beautiful pin set and it has a tutu, point shoes and like a an opera curtain on it. And I think I'm going to attach these to my ballet bag. I also purchased this print of Lauren Cuthbertson because I was hoping that I could get her signature after the show. But she sadly injured herself doing the first act, but bravely also danced the second act. But then she got replaced by Fumi Kaneko and she also did a really great job, but I sadly couldn't get Lauren's signature, but I really hope that I will one day. And I of course also purchased the program and as you can see, I got two signatures on here. One of them is from Matthew Ball and the other one is from Anna Rose O'Sullivan. And I was so happy that I could get the signatures of both of them. My mom also got her signature on the little 
sheet that you get inside the program. I only have two things left now. One of those things is the Dance Europe magazine and I already bought a copy when I went to Paris in the spring. I'm just really excited to read it and the best thing in here is that they have a poster of Giselle in here and Giselle is my favorite ballet and I'm just really happy that I got this. And now I'm going to show you the last thing that I got while I was in London. It's this hoodie. It's the Royal Ballet Tamara hoodie, I think. And I just bought it because I always wanted to have one of these. And this one is really beautiful because the Royal Ballet logo is stitched with rose gold thread. And I can't wait to wear this to warm up for ballet and I'm actually and I actually have ballet today, so I'm definitely going to take this with me. This is everything that I bought last weekend in London. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. And I hope you have an amazing day and until the next time.